Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another indie horror game. Today we're playing Bleeding Roots and the character we'll be controlling has gone through some hard times recently. So we're going to find some solace by tending to our garden and watering our plants. We're going to learn about them and grow along with them over time. Let's begin. Spring. And here we are. This is our garden. It's one of her letters. It's been a month already since she moved out. The house feels emptier. Huh. Recently uh, separated. Let's water the aloe vera. Aloe veras are used widely for medicinal purposes. Its leaves contain a gel that can treat wounds of various kinds, protecting the skin and helping with healing. I wish I could help people as much as you, little buddy. Oh, don't be so down on yourself, man. Don't be so down on yourself. A blue poppy. A blue poppy patch. Blue poppies tend to be linked to memories. When I look at them, I remember the ones planted in my schoolyard. I always thought it was cool how they didn't seem to care about the kids running over them. God damn kids. We can't run. I like how we've got a little house that's kind of wedged in between two massive buildings, it seems. Uh, lilac. I read lilacs represent domestic happiness. I remember having some of these in my childhood home, taking care of them with mum. It takes me back to my roots. Uh, I see what he did there. I see what he did there with the, with the plant pun. I got some plant puns for you. Uh, what have we got here? Asphodels are so nice. Just by looking at them, I feel at ease. I wish I could show them to someone who would understand that feeling. I can't understand the myth of them appearing in hell. A guy, a guy is a bit deep, right? He's um definitely a bit deep. I always loved how lavender smelled. A while ago, while walking through the neighborhood, I saw some, and I couldn't resist myself. They seem healthier than ever. We got a little doggo here. It's been empty for years now. Maybe I should get another pet. Oh, we got the watering bowls and everything out, but I forget me nots. His patches of uh, of plants are very weirdly placed, but the first flowers I had in my garden. Back then, I just thought they were pretty, but now it almost feels like an old friend that is watching my back. Oh, and then we have a shed down here. Well, we've watered the plants, I can see. I've got some graffiti here. Yeah, I'm liking the, um, the old retro Alone in the Dark. The very first Alone in the Dark. But what is in the shed? Why does this shed look very ominous to me? Okay. We have a hole in the ground. What have we got here? Got a knife. There's a book I found in the library. It talks about alternative ways of taking care of plants. It may sound dumb to others, but I don't lose anything trying it out. The scalpel is right here. Oh boy. Plant seed. Okay. Um, that's a, that's a lot of blood. We're bleeding a lot here. <laughs> okay. It hurts less than I expected. Um, I'll be back later. I should go home now. So, we're feeding the plant with our own blood. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I, I thought for a moment there there'd be like some drugs in the shed or something. We were growing our own, our own little stash, you know. My friend once talked to me about edible herbs and that, that I could grow in my garden. It was sage advice. Summer, 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 summer time. Everything's looking grand, but we've moved the aloe vera, it seems. Okay. Are we only watering our plants at certain times of the season? Is that what's happening here? Sometimes I wonder why does it grow thorns? Doesn't it want to help others? I feel like there's some metaphysical metaphors going on here. He's not really talking about the aloe vera, is he? Just the usual stuff. She still hasn't answered. I wonder if she's okay. 
It's been a couple of months, my friend. I think uh, I think she's gone. Let's get those. Uh, let's water those blue poppies. Their blue color is nice. I always liked it. When I was a kid, I think I remember it being my favorite color. Little tree here. Can we actually leave the place? I have no reason to go out today. Fair enough. They seem to be growing better back when she still lived here. So our, our friend isn't, he's not really over the fact that his girlfriend or his wife has left him. That's what I'm getting here. But we must tend to our flowers. We will grow with them. I've read more on these. Supposedly they cover the meadows of hell where people who didn't accomplish anything in life end up. They don't look as nice today. Hmm. The asphodels. Is there something here? Leaky, leaky. Pipes, no? Go to the lavender. The lavender will smell delish. The smell is slowly getting more rotten. Okay. They are getting bigger every day, and yet they don't look as happy as they did before. Are we not tending to them as much? Is that what you're telling me here? It would take too much work to take care of. Hmm. He's getting a little bit despondent, isn't he? Flowers of a forget-me-not look like eyes to some people. I've begun to notice it. It makes me a little uncomfortable. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Why would you just have that area behind the shed? Well, let's see how our blood plant is doing. Ah. Oh, not doing very well at all. A little green smudge. You grab the scalpel. The book has a marker I placed on one of its pages the last time I read it. The page reads, The roots of a plant bleed into the ground, wishing to paint it green and make the world beautiful again. So is that what I'm doing here? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? I'm making the world beautiful again by feeding it my blood. It's the sound. It's the sound of the knife going in. And he's obviously cutting himself really deep. Because that's a lot of blood. And it looks like he's cutting it from the wrist as well. I'm starting to like how the blade feels. Oh, that's that's not good. That's not good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, plants of water for the day. Let's go home. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling that his mind is going to deteriorate as much as the seasons change. Uh, aloe vera's gone missing again. Check Mel. The divorce papers came in. I don't want to look at them. Oh dear. Oh dear. I can feel myself getting less and less interested in going out. Why would I leave my garden? Why indeed? And the blue poppies are no longer blue. I mean, it is the fall, so... A lot of flowers aren't going to make it, you know? I'm not going to survive. Lately, all I can think about when I look at them is the impact I had. Is anyone even going to remember me? Ooh, very, very depressing, sobering thoughts here. The aloe vera will cheer us up, right? You can heal so much pain, and yet you can't help me. Buddy, buddy, buddy. I like the gr- Oh, we've got a new angle here with a crow. Hmm. Hmm. You know, I used to make uh, loads of money cleaning leaves from gardens when I was younger. I mean, I was just raking it in. Raking it in. I can make garden puns too, you know. Um, yeah, the uh, I never got to tell mum how much that garden meant to me. I wonder if those lilacs still wait for us to water them. Well, you've got to have to water it, my friend. I wonder if when I die, I'll wake up among these. At least then, I won't be lonely anymore. Well, I mean, you might be in hell, though. You know? The lavenders, they weren't smelling great last time. Let's see how they're smelling now. They're, they're gonna be rotten, right? The smell is intoxicating. I wonder if it'll stay after cutting it and placing it inside. 
He wants the smelling, lingering smell of death in his house. I don't need another thing to leave me. Ah, oh, my poor guy here. My poor guy. <laughs> All he needs is to go out, have a few drinks with his buddies. Everything would be fine. I can feel it star <clears throat> I can feel it staring at me with those unblinking eyes. Even friends can betray you, it seems. God damn, every little thing, every little thing to cheer you up is not. Oh, tennis balls. There appears to be a box full of tennis balls on the street. One of them says Tommy, probably a dog's name. I remember there being a shady pet clinic in some back alley not far from here. They're probably from there. No clue why they would need so many. Is that from a, that's from a different game, isn't it? Where you go search for your dog in a, in a factory. In a, yeah. Okay. Um, we didn't actually look at the chair, the fold-up chair. No, it doesn't really give you anything. All right, let's see how our, um, our blood plant's doing in the shed. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, he's starting to bloom a little bit. We read the book again. We do have a shovel, though. I'm going to need this. I wonder if the book can help me more. Are we are we reading it? I read a book about a guy once who had a small garden. Not much of a plot. The strange plant. Why are we digging up the strange plant then? We're going to take that into our house. Did notice there were some flies around the lights now. I dug the plant out. Strange plant. It now mirrors me, expelled from the life it was meant to have. Its beauty lies in contrast to its incompleteness. A twisted reflection of my own soul. But now I see the truth. No mere seed can serve as a vessel worthy of this blood-tainted soil. The earth craves for something far deeper. Oh, my, my friend. So what are we meant to do here? I should plant it in here. Huh? We've just dug it up. Are we... Oh, I see. Now we're giving it flesh. We were giving it blood before, but blood's not enough. We need to give it our own flesh. And why not? Blood as well at the same time. Do I have any fingers left? Am I cutting in my my wrist here? My arm? Drink up. Winter's getting closer. Hmm. I don't think our friend's very well. Are we t we're not taking it out. We're just leaving it then? Okay. As we're just dripping our blood on the way home. It's winter. So I'm assuming that all the plants are going to be dead now. Yeah, they don't look very good. It couldn't even save itself. How pathetic. Oh, he's turned. He has turned. There are multiple unpaid bills waiting. He's let himself go. He's let himself go. I feel for him. There's nothing out there. Yeah. Blue poppy. I don't remember their color. Well, they used to be blue. And that's just complete. The lilacs now complete mush. I'm surprised they survived as long as they did without water. It got what it deserved. Yeah, all the thoughts have uh, turned a bit negative now. I wonder what he's going to say about the dog. Such a waste of time that was. Yeah. Its eyes aren't moving anymore. Well. I don't reckon um, this game is going to have a happy ending. The camera seems to have gotten a lot closer to the shed now. He's not really caring about his plants, does he? He's all about the blood plant inside. Oh! Okay. So we've got like, um... A little shop of horrors going on here. Is that what's happening? Feed me, Seymour! Feed me! I already read the book enough. So what, we're gonna- My child. A lot more flies. I can hear them pulsating underneath, calling to me. They beat with my breathing. They beat with my heart. It's a thrumming that won't stop. They are talking to me, inviting me to join them. 
I was lost for so long, but I now know what I was searching for. There's only one thing to do. Oh, he's going to crawl in there, isn't he? Give in. Oh, I don't want to give in. My child. I was once a blind man, hopelessly fumbling in the darkness. But this fragile, precious thing has opened my eyes to a beauty far beyond what I could have imagined. Its roots bind it to the earth, unable to leave, yet still growing. It's always reaching, but I know it will always be incomplete. I know what's the last step. I have to take it myself. Or we could leave? Yeah? Might want to do that? No. We're going to get in to the intrusive thoughts. Dig. Oh, so I'm digging the earth back on myself, right? I'm going to become the plant child. And as we dig deeper, the sound starting to muffle, come a bit fainter, until everything has been buried. Well, there you go, guys. That was Bleeding Roots. Um, yeah, I think that's more of a metaphor for depression, self-harm. Um, quite poignant and beautiful in its own way, but very dark, very depressing. I hope this hasn't depressed you too much. Um, hopefully my little garden puns will get you through this. Anyway, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Like or dislike the video and sub if you haven't already. And if you don't, I might just bury myself in my garden. Until the next time, stay ghoulish and safe. Bye.